guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you all how we transitioned Brody from a cot to a adult size single bed. Now, I feel like our transition was kind of easy just because of our situation. Um, but I thought I would just share our experience, how we did it, and the steps we took along the way to ensure it was smoother for him. So, taking it right back to when Brody was around 9 to 10 months old, he started climbing out of his cot. We lowered it to the lowest setting, he was still climbing out of the cot, so yeah, we basically took the side off the cot. We had one where we could take the side off the cot because it changed into a cot bed. So we took the side off the cot and just see how he went. Now he did climb out at bedtime and this is the tricky bit, we had to try and teach him to stay in bed. So we would have to literally, he would go down to sleep fine. Um, but then he'll wake up and get out and he'll come wandering downstairs and in our old house we couldn't use baby gates for certain reasons just how our house was but yeah he would climb out whereas before we could put him in his car and he would lay down and go to sleep now it was like a whole different ball game so all we done to tackle that was we had to just keep putting him back that is the only way to get a child to stay in their bed at bedtime is just keep putting them back and after a while, he actually got used to it. Now, it stayed that way for around two months. He was happy in his cot bed with no side on. He was sleeping fine. Then we moved house. So we moved house. He was finally getting his own room because he was in a room with us before. And we put his cot bed up. And for some reason, after a few days, it broke. I don't know if it's because someone stood on it or something. But one of the slats underneath actually broke. So he was like, okay, he's in his own room now. He sleeps better in a single bed, like an adult-sized bed. Like, he sleeps better in our bed. So he was like, why don't we just get him an adult-sized single bed and see how he goes? So we got him an adult-sized single bed and he transitioned fine. Because he was used to sleeping in the cot bed with no side, he was fine to transition into the bigger bed and he actually slept a lot better in that bed. He was sleeping from half six to around four in the morning before he would cry for us to go and get him to come into our bed which is really really good for him trust me that is amazing so yeah we did actually try and buy him a bed guard because he did fall out of bed a few times and it is really scary when kids fall out of bed they can really really hurt themselves but we couldn't find one to fit the bed typical but now he doesn't fall out he's got used to being in that bed he doesn't fall out he can climb off himself now it's fine that's the only problem we had was it was quite a high bed for him but yeah that is basically how we transitioned Brody to from a cot to a single size bed very short video I know but that is simply it like there's no magic way to transition them you can use sleepy heads you can do this you can do that literally you just have to take the side off and see how they go and then once they get used to sleeping in the cot with the side off, then transition them into a small toddler bed or an adult size single, whatever you feel comfortable with. But he's now, he'll be two in July and he's still sleeping in an adult size single bed. No problems. He loves it. If I had it my way, he would stay in a cot until at least two, just because of the getting out situation. But yeah, that's a whole different video. So yeah, that is basically how we transition Brody to an adult size single bed. I get a lot of questions about it on Instagram, like why is he in an adult size single bed? And that is why. So I'm just clearing this up. If he didn't climb out at like 10 months old, he will probably still be in a cot, like a lot longer. But yeah, I really hope you find this video useful, guys. Sorry it's very short. Sorry I don't have any magic tips, but that is practically what we done. If you are transitioning, I hope it goes well for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure you subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Be all right. Yeah, I know we'll be all right. We are closing in on heaven. And I know we'll be all right. Be all right.